Hey guys, John Luxley here. Back with our blind playthrough of the Talos Principle. If Jack decides to let me play. If you're new to my channel, Jack is one of my cats and he, uh, both he and both my cats actually like to hang out where my mouse is. And, uh, generally, in, uh, in the pursuit of getting pets, they like to, you know, interfere with the mouse, basically. Um, so Jack is right next to the mouse right now. Okay. We're gonna play, Jack, baby. Restore backup, ooh. Continue playing from last checkpoint. All right. So last time we went through the hidden, like an illusory wall, basically. Yep, went through here and saw... This is some weird open area with something over there. And, uh... Oh, what are you doing, Jack? Do not lay on my hand. What is, what is going on here? Jack, do... Mm. Okay, is he one of the... Okay, where... Is he trying to teleport out, or what's... He's got stuff in his hands, a pencil and a book. Hey, Alan. What are you doing? Come back here. Can I click on him? No. I cannot click on him. What is going on with this? Also, those were sounds from... Sounds from what? I don't know. But there's... Like, this is blocked off, but I don't understand why. Okay, Mario. Uh, so are these the devs, or maybe Kickstarter backers? I guess another question is, <clears throat> is this what I look like? Oh, hey, that's one of those things. It's like a focusing... I don't know what the point of that is. But we have Mario, we have... Wait, where did that other dude did go? Tome? Or Tome, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And Jack being right next to my mouse means I can only move it like half an inch at a time. So that's kind of annoying. Are you going to lay down? Don't lay down on my hand, please. Come. Okay. Okay, you. So Jack also has a kind of the annoying habit. Thank you. Thank you for moving that. Come on. Into the lap. In. Come on. Come on. Also, if you're hearing any extra sounds right now, that was Jack rubbing against the microphone as I'm moving him into the lap. Okay, Jack. Lay down. So the goal right now is to get him to lay down in my lap. Because otherwise he'll just jump right back up where the mouse is and lay down on top of the mouse and my hand. That's not, uh, you know, it's not conducive to uh, playthroughs. It was really bad in the middle of Dark Souls where they decided to do that and then Manny decided to walk in front of the monitor and just stand there so I could only see like the top third of the screen. That was rough. Ah, and now of course cat hair in my mouth. They're adorable, but they are, uh, okay, what is, so this is maybe us. Recording. Samsara the Shepherd. Okay. I don't... Like, I don't know what this place is. Is this supposed to be a... I don't know what the deal is with this place. It's beautiful, but... You know. I guess we'll run. We may as well run if we're gonna look at all the different sites. Because we can't interact with any of the people. So is this just the... 
Tom J. Jonas. These have to be devs or or backers or something. You don't just put random people's pictures into the game without without a reason. Agoran. Okay. And I can't interact with any of this stuff either. Okay. Helena. Oh, there. Wait, you can pick up stuff? And that dude was green. And this dude is wearing headphones for some reason or another. Okay, there is a cube. It's not a companion cube, though, but it's pretty close. What are you doing with it? Maybe it's better not to ask. All right. Oh. Ugh. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. But okay. Um All right. Well, how do I get out of here now? Is the qu That's the key. Okay, right here. Let's uh let's do this. Oh, okay, well, there's nothing. I mean, I guess that's why it's sealed off. Can we walk through here? No. All right, should I? Because I don't know what the stars do aside from... I mean, it's potentially not difficulty. Because there's a gate over there that seems to require a star. So... Right, missing a star... Is there... I mean, like, if there was going to be a star, I suppose it would potentially be over here? I, I don't know. Um... I don't... Right, there's signs. Sign says there's another star. There is a star. But I... I don't see an extra doorway. I assume you can't just pick it up. And it would be nice if the signs, like, pointed it out. Can I pick these up? No. Um... Yeah, I don't quite know. We'll take another... We'll just walk around here for a minute, just because I'm, I'm curious, right? So there's those two doors. You would think there was another door on the other side. I, I suppose I haven't bumped a, up against all the walls. I'm just... I'm still trying. I'm like pushing up against them. And I don't see any prompts appearing on the screen, which means you would hope there aren't any. At least not in that area. Maybe in here. Because this is kind of a middle area with the terminal. I don't know. Let's talk to you. Use. List. Uh. MLA. Library assistant is busy elsewhere. What? Unable to open a sports session. Try again. Um. Figure it out. I mean. Right, right, right. Okay, I don't know. Oh, close. Right, okay, well, exit. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Uh, tell me about the Athena thing again. Maybe that's got a hint. 
No, I mean it. Middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I suppose we could go back the way we came. I also don't know if this is the right way. That is active. Okay, so we can't go back there. You can never go home again, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe that's enough time spent. Okay. I mean, it would be nice to think that the, uh, Man, I don't know what the deal with the stars is. Yeah, I guess not. I was I was like maybe it's up on the roof or or something, I don't know. Nope, that's the switch. Teach me about the star. How about that? Um. Okay, I guess we'll go to two. Right? Those have the other two pieces we need for A. And then... A star and a golden L. Boop, boop, boop. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the great tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Like some Garden of Eden stuff, right? Don't go to the Great Tower, that's what they say. And then... Presumably that's the MLA, right? And what was this little icon up there? Unrecognized error detected, what does that mean? Library archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. What does that even mean? Use access com portal command to access network functions. That is so weird. Error, network inaccessible. Uh, run MLA troubleshooter. I mean, I guess. Is there something you'd like help with today? About Milton Library Assistant, sure. <clears throat> MLA program is designed to facilitate user interaction with the resource library. This is achieved by providing powerful sorting and troubleshooting of functionalities delivered via an intuitive human language interface. Can I type? No, I cannot. Your query, troubleshooting. Uh, I think you'd like to help, you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. Uh, let's see. QWERTY, God, let me in, trust no one, admin. Let's try admin. Checking password. Try again. Yes, QWERTY. We'll try all of them. God. Uh, login aborted. Too many failed attempts. Would you like to create a new admin account? Yes. Okay. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, uh, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. You will now be asked for a series of inputs to co to cohere. Uh, 
with data protection, I didn't, is cohere an actually word? An actual, <laughs> an actually word? An actual word. Uh, with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop, to develop a broad psychometric profile. Okay. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, let's see, part one ready for user input. Complete all fields. Uh, please answer quickly and in in instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Blade Runner reference, maybe. Begin certification program, yes or no? Uh, hang on, let me take a drink of my semi not so great wine hmm. this is actually recorded uh you know maybe half an hour after the previous episode so uh you know still drinking the same wine that i was last time all right yes three two one uh two plus two equals four uh, what is your subjective reaction to this image face? What is best describes a person? Human being? Uh, human being, I suppose. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Uh, ignore him. Sorry, man. I... Survival is key. Part one of the certification process is now complete. You will receive a notification when part two has been generated. I see. New things. Okay. Before the original, right? Ian.eml. Athena analysis, Talos principle. From Frank Ngatai to Miles Ngatai, Dan Ngatai, Ian. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in and right at the entrance, there's a life-size po life poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Is that, uh... Oh, I-A-N. Ian, Dr. Ian. That's... Dumb. Dr. Sarab Sarabi shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. She says, Ainan, Ipin, Anapo... All sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. So she's uh, English or British or whatever you want to call it, I suppose. All right. Athena analysis. Tell's principle is from BCE, not BE. Okay, well, also, why is it HTML, text, EML? What's the purpose of those? Local is EML, perhaps. Web crawl, HTML, CL, arch, presumably archive, is text, I guess. User Alex16 added four notes. Note one. Novel's first sentence, she woke up in an impossible place knowing nothing, signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery. Though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the, the science fictional novus at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... Note 2. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective flawed limited senses tell us, and we have uh, machine or assembly language... Social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. Note 3. When in Chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the... Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... So that is not super helpful.
archive so and so Stratton of St Stagiria Stagera Stage Ira whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus um I don't remember who Daedalus is Hephaestus I believe is the god of smithing what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of the liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved with his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. I don't remember. I remember reading the Argonauts, right? Because that was uh, Jason and the Golden Fleece, I believe. But maybe that was not the only tale of the Argonauts. I'm not sure. Uh, if then a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then what does then does it not follow that a man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. That's true. But if the philosopher is made of wood... A01, A02. Alright. So we have those four things, possibly. What? I mean, I hear my steps, right? Interesting, isn't it? It doesn't tell us where the star is. I would like it to tell us, but I don't think it will. You've got mail. I guess we step into the light. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it. Which I really regret. So... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking for as long as I can. Buried in the archive. So maybe, maybe this is like a simulated world. Time capsules, time. When I was oh. a little girl, Okay, it doesn't tell us who it was, though. Like, it appeared up here. Um, but it's from the something-something Institute of Nomadics, right? This feels very much like Tokyo Jungle. Oh, hey, what's this? I can't click on it. I can't do anything with it. It did something, right? So let's... Hmm. I thought I saw it do something. Oh, we can go up here. Well, okay. But what's, uh, what's the purpose of going over there? Anything? Like, I want to look... I want to find the stars. You know? Recording. Oh, uh, well, okay. I guess I... Do I... What is... What is this? Well, I guess we follow it. Huh. Well... Okay, then presumably it is a digital world. I mean, I don't know how much that matters, to be honest. 
Wait, is... I was gonna say, is this like the whole, like, outside of the area? Maybe. Hmm. Well, okay. Is that the same recording? 23 version... Like the original version? I don't know, man. Should we follow them? Where are you going, dude? <sighs> do I have to find all of them? Is that what I have to do? Okay, so this is the... Still the outside. Like, nothing really changed. This is new. I still want the star, though. Just give me the star. Use. Right. Okay, so this is a different archive. Error, log, the human machine, and arg solutions. Let's try error. Cannot load archive, Milton John. John Milton. Uh, he wrote Paradise Lost, I believe. I haven't read it. I really should. That day, I often remember when, I, when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed. Under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what, what I was. Whence thither brought and how. Error? Unknown error. Oh, Ian. There you go. That's really stupid, by the way. Jeff Goldblum. The Human Machine Web Crawl. EP Archive. I don't know. Topic number three. Oh, and it, there's a scroll bar. Okay, cool. One day you discover you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real, but no one... No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being. But you were created in the lab. Weird. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you're a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? So... The question is... So basically, you're an organic... You're human, kind of. But you're an artificial, organic human being? Is that the... The only difference between being born is... Or is... As opposed to being born is you're created in the lab? Um... I mean, that... Assuming you're organic. I guess it wouldn't really change too much. The difference is, you know, of course, if you're if you're an actual, like, you know, steel and whatever machine and it was all a simulation or something, that would be that would be different. But you know, like, if your family didn't actually exist but if you were just, uh, you know, like in vitro fertilization as opposed to normal quote-unquote normal conception, right? Um, I mean, it doesn't change too much. Uh, does your understanding of the world itself change? I have no idea. Do you reveal the information to others, or do you keep it to yourself, and why? I need more info. Uh, 1,500 to 2,000 words. The 26th is, is the final deadline. No extensions will be granted. Submit via email or... Oh, right. The human machine. Interesting. From Bob R Bob Rakowski to 108 recipients. Subject Grarg. 
All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world has such reserves of serenity. Though these latter-day Gautamas are at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they going to do? Shoot blank? Though I have to admit the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we be crazy. <laughs> crazy is what we do best on this planet. Okay. So I have another hypothesis, which is that this is uh, it's like the music video for shelter oh hey a little thing it's like a simulated world that's the last hope of humanity type deal it doesn't say anything though which is weird unless it's a glitch i don't think it's a glitch though Okay, there's an island over there. I'm gonna... I am Elohim. He sounds like Azaru from uh, Path of Exile also. Okay. Can I go to that island? Like, can I go out into the water? That's the question. I... Oh, what, what, what is this? made the world i am the words the words are everything where the words end the world ends you cannot go forward in an absence of space repeat in the beginning were the okay words. so that's basically saying that you're gonna get screwed like probably you can't go to the island wait there's multiple islands let's see if we can maybe go to that one You can't go something, something in the absence of... Whoa, that was close. Okay, so that's basically like the boundary. Um, I want to hit a checkpoint first. Or does it just... Uh, does it just... Hmm. I don't know if that counts as an autosave. Oh, I hear it. I hear stuff. Let's solve for one of these puzzles first. What's the deal with the stars? I want to know about the stars. Teach me about the stars, please. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Okay, that way is those, and this way is that, and, you know, etc., etc. I don't understand the stars, man. I mean, I hear zaps and stuff, which is the... I mean, it's possible the simulation's breaking down, you know? Okay, suicide mission. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's right there. Something's beeping or bouncing against that. And that is off. Oh! That's gotta be, yep, okay, I thought so. Okay, a jammer, got it. So, what we need to do, will the guns shoot? That is the question. Right, so we go over, we turn that on. Okay, that is now there, and then we jam that. Interesting. It's not that they shoot each other as much as they get drawn to each other. 
fair enough. So in the future, I may have to manipulate them into colliding. Good. You are learning, as is your purpose. Thanks, but sir. your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you, unless it is necessary. Fair enough. You know, they talked about choices mattering. Or at least the description of the game did. I don't understand. Like, the people behind Serious Sam made this. We're going to get immediately, right? We're going to try for it anyway. Okay. Well, fair enough. Now we know. Now we know. Where's the star? Tell me about the star. Wait. There's an actual star. Okay. Hmm. How do I get it? How do I get that? There's got to be a jammer or something. Like a hidden jammer? Like, you know, it would be... Uh, it would be too easy to just, you know, have the star just kind of chilling right there. I don't suppose I can jump over it. No, nope. good try though. Good try, myself. And I doubt it's the uh, upper left-hand corner thing. That wouldn't wouldn't make much sense if that allowed me to do it. It might. It might. Hall of Windows. Hall of Windows. Okay. Seems about right. You have windows and stuff, right? Okay, cool. Wow, lots of windows. They're not kidding. I expected, like, one hall, but there's multiple halls of windows. So that's, you know, that's something. I bet from here we can tag that. That's my thought. Because we don't know how far the range goes. Right? So we'll see in a minute. Okay, so you, you can jam that, but what about, see, we can jam it. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. Right? Okay, right. That's what I expected. Okay. Yep. That's about what I expected. So we'll use this. We will... Can we just jam it from here? There we go. Boom. Grab you. Jam this. No. Jam this. Okay. All right, through here. Why the ruins, though? You know? Like, one of the DLCs was that you could replace the Elohim, the narrator, with... Oh, can we just go out? Cool. That's handy. That's much better than having to redo the puzzle in reverse. Like, that would be super tedious. Uh, but one of the DLCs was, like, um... You know, replace the narrator with, like, a silly narrator from Sirius Sam. 
And I was just like, I don't, I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that, to be honest. Okay, so we have all of this extra area. What's really going to annoy me is if somewhere there's a hidden jammer. That would really annoy me. Because, like, I don't want to... Wait, what are these? I really don't want to bother finding a hidden jammer somewhere. Something strange has come into the world like a distortion, like something that's not supposed to exist. A beautiful voice speaks within it. Ah. Pre presumably Elohim, right? So Elohim is maybe a virus? About version 25. Uh, that voice is not supposed to be here. It is not the work of the designer. We must avoid these abnormalities or they might spread and undermine the very fabric of our world. Well, there's faith. So what happens to them? Do they get disposed of? Like, what's the deal? I assume we're going to be, you know, eventually it'll be explained. That's my hope. Alright, well, we'll figure out what the deal is with the stars soon. Maybe. Uh, did we solve this one? No, not this one yet. Okay. Well, let's solve it then. The guards must be crazy. I haven't seen that movie. I want to. Oh, there's one of you. There's one of yous. Okay, so... Get close, try and go for the jammer and that thing blows you up. Oh, that's close. That goes all the way. I assume that goes all the way, so we have to yep, probably run here. Pick you up. And then hopefully it goes that way. So we can scoot by. Oh my goodness! Well, that was close. Okay. Fireworks are going off. That's cool. Got it. Okay. Well, we're going to take this. We're going to do a little bit of this. Okay. And then we're going to have to be all fancy. Don't blow me up, please. Ooh, that's close. Oh, I have to do both, huh? Oh, I get it. I get you. I got it. Just don't blow me up, all right? That would be nice. I'll take it. Beep, 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 and we're good. Is it gonna tell me anything? No? What about, uh, about the star here? Did that get lowered as well? No. I would make the assumption that we can't take the thing out through this purple field. Now, my next question is, is there a way... Wait, what is this? Another altar. Kind of like the one where I started at. Right? Hmm. 
The Great Tower. Of course, we're going to have to go there. Oh, is this thing active again? Yep. Okay, part two of the certification program has now been generated. Part two has been designed to test the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. You will be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate your agreement where appropriate. I assume... I would assume it doesn't really matter what you say. Let me take a sip of my wine before we, uh, you know, begin. Ooh. Okay, begin, yes or no, yes. Three, two, one. Since all human beings are persons and some human beings have psycho psychological path capacity similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. That is not correct. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. I... I, I don't... I guess? The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Sure. Value is discovered. I guess so. Whoa. Uh... Persons deserve the talents they were born into. That's not necessarily true. The liberty of persons ought be maximized. Yeah. That's correct. Value is created. Um, sure, it can be. Thank you. The certification process is now complete. You will receive a notification when your user profile has been generated. So we're going to get potentially admin privileges. Resuming library archive session. Okay, so we have those now. But we've seen those before. So, star, I don't know how to get. Maybe that'll be like towards the end. But I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. Also, I just remembered, well, I can't get up there. Um, it said something about the sigils of Elohim rewards for playing that little free game. Some of the rewards are stars, which reduces the amount of stars that you need to get in the main game. That's interesting. So it might be that you need stars to progress somehow. I don't quite know because it seems like it seems like the A stuff is what you need, not the stars. There you go. There's still a star. Also, it's not three, it's four. It's four things wide. Right, like you can see it across from there, like it's not X'd out. There's a star. in the lower left. You think it's one space to the right? Like maybe a four by four grid? That could be. Let's go to... Uh, well, we don't have enough to open either of these. Let's look for... something that like these right these will unlock my weird thing of a bob four but let's check out three first because you know you want to go in order if we can uh it doesn't specify which these are so maybe they apply to either and two stars And these are stacked vertically, and I, I don't know how this works. Okay, let's do three. We'll see if we can do a couple of these before we have to stop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, hey, another QR code, uh, which doesn't tell us anything. Do I click? That's weird, because...
Oh, it's on a clock. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. AI feedback team leads Straton of Stagiria. Tell me about the AI. We keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us and how it would change our understanding of the world. That's a great topic and I think we've covered it extensively. What we've barely mentioned though is the other side of the coin. I mean, our lives would still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. What would it be like to be that creature? To suddenly come into being, created by others as an experiment? To have all the information about yourself to know exactly how you function? What would you think about the world? Would you see meaning, beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should tr try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexandra, thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up on my studies. It's frowny face. But that's stupid because what she's asking is philosophy. Right? Like one of the bases, bases, bases is, base I. Um, a philosophy is the whole, like Descartes, I think therefore I am, you know? Um, it's important. Especially being able to, to put yourself in the shoes of other people and think from their perspective, I think it would potentially create a lot of empathy, you know? Tell me about team leads. We're blessed to have so many people contributing to this project, but we've got to make sure everyone is on the same page. Please refer to the following people when Alexandra Drennan, project lead, AI module, Nadia Sarabi, institute coordinator, Rob McLean, EL software, Trevor Donovan, EL hardware. EL, is that like Elohim? George Jameson, Generation Module, Alan Jameson, Scenario Module, Ra Bob, oh, here's Manny, Bob R Rakowski, Simulation mo Module, oh, and he's sitting next to the mouse now too, huh? Jack is on the back of my chair, and Manny is now next to the mouse. They're both super adorable. Uh, Radia Brickmont, random. Aurora Calvin, Link Hardware, Omar Garib, Link Software, Blank Lanning, Maintenance Module, J.E. Harrison, Diagnostic Blank, Frank Gatai, Memory Module, Jared V. Schmiley, File Sys, whatever, Sun Wei Yang, Talos Unit, formerly Soma. So is that a reference to like Soma the game? I know I mean I kind of know the premise for the game Soma. You know, I watched uh I think it was Joseph Anderson's um breakdown of the game or you know not synopsis as much as like complete spoiling of the game which is sad because I think I'd really like it um, and actually I have it so there you go I'll have to play it one day but but uh, the concept of you know scanning a person's brain and then putting them in and utilizing that same personality foundation to run however many tests, simulations, uh, that's interesting. That's an interesting concept. So it's possible that this is what's happening here, you know? 
I mean, how many versions have they gone through to get to the one that we're playing as now? Don't know. Though not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact their project leave, lead, Arkady Chernyshkevsky. Don't worry, he's nice. Sharing both physical and digital space. The archive team. I mean, it sounds like there's some kind of post-apocalyptic thing. Stratton of Stagiria, Stagira, was a Greek materialist philosopher associated with the Peripatetic school. An admirer of Aristotle, he was a proponent of empiricism and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truths. Though unpopular with, with many of his peers for his often acerbic, i.e. Uh, abrasive or acidic personal manner, his commentaries on Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. That's too bad. New texts. Right, let's uh Let's try and go for the gold. Okay, this one here. And another QR code. Maybe. Uh, it's clear I'm not the first to walk this path. In fact, the whole thing seems to have, seems to have been consciously designed but by the voice in the sky or some other force. Sheep. Version 69. That is unknown. So the Elohim was not a... Locked me up, swallowed the key. Elohim was a... Uh, not an original thing. What is this? Use. Door is locked. Lock me up, swallow the key. I get you. Force field. Right, so Elo Elohim is a uh, new person, I suppose. Got it. Take jammer. We took it. Jam. Can we unlock it from the other side? No. But, I mean, look at that. It's... We should be able to... Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we can't go that way. That would be bad. But the jammer is there. We can go underneath the things, like Solid Snake, though. Right? And we can't go that way. Let's try this way. Keys. This is new. Okay. Key. Like one, one key. I didn't even see a keyhole. There isn't one. It just, uh, just kind of just kind of goes in there. I mean, it looks like maybe there's a keyhole there now, but um, could have sworn there wasn't one before. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's not, you know. Okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, we need to do this. Jam. Oh, I thought I saw a uh, cord. Okay, grab. Jammer number two. Jam. Jam, presumably. And a ladder. Uh, so, right, of course. Jam that one. Jam that one. Jam that. Right on. Yep, and so as soon as I go up and hit the top, it just pushes me over. That's fine. That's fine. Right, Jack? Oh, there goes Jack. All right, let's... I'm curious. It is just about time to stop, but I do want to head back and see what... 
uh, what this does for us. Nope, not that way. Right, so here, use. Boom. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Boom. You have now unlocked the thingamabob. Alright, what is it? There is much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. But children are made to learn, and in time they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So it shall be with you and your generations. And eventually they overcome the parents, which is theoretically what the Elohim is. Okay, so that went somewhere. I don't know what the deal is, though. You know? Well, let's run back to... Three, then, I suppose. Or... Uh, let's go back to two, because there's that... I know where there is a star. That's uh, here, right? Okay. So... I don't know what that thing does. It doesn't just give it... Wait, but I do have an icon. Can I hit tab? Time capsule? No. I can't escape? Uh, no. No. Zoom game. E. No. Options. Tell me about the keyboard and mouse. Configure keys. Okay. Right, left, blah, 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 blah. Jump. Secondary fire. None. Use. Alternate use. Right click. Reset. Journal. Fast forward. Zoom. Uh. Okay. Well, then. I don't know. Secondary fire, none. I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I have the little thing down there, right? In, in the lower left corner of the screen, but I don't know how it works. Let's just double click on this. New. Okay. That's a locked door. I need a key. I need a key that I don't have. How do I get a key? Well, that's annoying. Like, I can't even see what's in there. You know? I can't see what's in there. I don't know if anything is in there. I just, I just know there's a... Uh... Okay, so are there keys hidden somewhere? Because that would be a real pain. I swear to God, it better not be this dude. I'm going to take another minute and just kind of run around and see if I see that blue dude again. What was that? Was that him? No. Uh, 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Like... Okay, so I know there's keys. I know there is such a thing as a key. I don't know if the locked door is... You'd think it would actually be... something. Okay. I mean, right? You'd think there you'd think there would have to be keys somewhere here, but I hate if that's the case, then I hate the scavenger hunt thing. I hate the uh oh, you know, you just have to look at this thing the right angle or or whatever. That would be I mean, I have feet, though, at least. You know, that's something. Okay, we've been here. Um, all right, well. What is it, Meanie? What do you need? I'll feed you in, like, two minutes. Just two minutes. I don't know if you heard him jumping onto the floor. It's pretty loud. Kind of surprised at how loud it was. Okay, I don't see any random sets of keys. Oh, there's blue guy. Okay. Was it the same recording as before? This looks... Yeah, I mean, right? Unless I have to follow him around to the end of his, all of his recordings every time. That would be, or you know, you know what I mean, like find all of his recordings in without leaving the area. That would be a real pain. That would be a real freaking pain. Oh jeez. Uh, okay, I have no idea. I was really hoping, you know, unlocking the refractor or whatever it is, I don't know, would, would be something really good. But man, I have no idea. <clears throat> okay. I think that little thing in the... was the uh, autosave less than a minute ago. Okay. Don't quit, please. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoy these episodes. Um, it's not... Honestly, it's not so much the... Whatever. Um, I don't know. It sounds weird. What I, what I get the most out of, or what I get the most enjoyment out of, is seeing even if it's like you know one or two likes or whatever or one or two views or, or whatever you know I'm not uh, I'm not necessarily doing it to get famous um, I you know I'm, I understand enough that it, that brings its own issues and I'm not sure that I want the negatives I mean I don't want the negatives but you know, if the positives have to come with the negatives, I'm not even sure I want the positives, right? So, um, you know, it, it's it's dorky, but what I like is seeing, you know, like, say if this, for example, this series or whatever, uh, seeing people watch all the videos. That's what I like. Because, you know, you're not going to watch 15 episodes of a series unless you like it i mean general or unless you get something out of it right so so that means people are getting something out of it and that's what i like so i'm, I'm hoping you guys are at least enjoying these episodes um what is your guys unique positive moment for today for me it's uh um i went to a dinner 
like a like a work related function and they had um I tried a uh, a dunkel it's a type of beer it's like a german uh it's got a, like a malty flavor it's, I liked it a lot I'd never had one before and it was it was really really good um not for everybody but I liked it so that's my unique positive moment hopefully your guys is just as good as as mine if not better hopefully better of course and I hope to see you guys next time till then guys Take care.